You know, because there are plant plastics called cellulose, but the, the human plastics have gotten so good at resisting ultraviolet radiation, they stay alive and intact for a long time, especially underwater. The deeper in the ocean the plastics go, the longer they live. And they're really bad because as they break down, you know, a piece of plastic is moving in the waves and rolls on the sand and on the rocks, and little tiny pieces come off. And these little tiny pieces become like dust. And over time, this plastic dust gets in the water and it looks like food to different types of animals, including plankton, shrimp, even small fish. So the animals are eating the plastic. And in some cases, the animals' stomachs are full of plastic and they can't eat anything else and they starve to death with their stomachs full. But there's a human problem too. And that is some of these plastics, and we found a lot of them in different animals, including shrimp and fish, it gets stored in the fat, which covers the nerves. And so these little animals have all this plastic in it, and then people eat it. And they're starting to think now that it's the fish and the shrimp and other animals with plastic that's causing a rise in human cancers. So it's our own pollution coming back to haunt us when just eating fish. And so we have to solve this problem. We have to find out how we can reduce plastics that we lose into the ocean. And if we take a piece of plastic and we throw it in the dump, it sometimes will work its way into the water and then back into the ocean. If we throw plastic on the street, it will find its way into the water, almost 100% guaranteed. And as it breaks up and turns into this dust, often we end up eating it. So we have to get plastics out of the ecosystem and recycled at all costs because it's being devastating. Yeah, I have. Um, I've seen a lot of plastics in harbors underwater where you know all the waves come in and it's catch and things just kind of stack up there. You might have seen it in your own self when you go into a boat harbor or on the beach, you'll see areas that have a lot of plastic in one place, and those are called catches. And third world countries have a really bad problem with it because they don't have recycling and they just throw plastic into the water. I've been 2,000 feet deep underwater in a submarine where no man has ever gone before and I saw plastic on a piece of coral. So it gets everywhere in the ocean. It's not just limited to one area. It's everywhere in the ocean. And so plastics need to be recovered. And, you know, plastics are valuable, even if they're old. 
So if we can recover plastics out of the water, they can be recycled and made into a profit. So we need to have more people look at developing technologies to recover plastics out of the water. And that's what I'm hoping kids will get. That's one of the things they'll do because like a, a milk carton of plastic underwater can last as long as a human, 60, 70 years. It's a long time, just one gallon of milk.